Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is your host Majestic speaking, and today we're going to be looking into some more Darkest Dungeon. Episode 7 is what we're up to, and we are going to be uh, taking out yet another, uh, another party that we're pretty familiar with, but we're going to be going through another area in which, you know, we're going more for uh, the, the tr trinket than anything. Um, we have been to the ruins a few times now, and we are about to run into uh, level 2, I guess you could say, into the ruins, where we will be able to fight a boss pretty soon. So, you know, we're 75% of the way to the boss, we have to clear a path to the boss, is what it says when you hover over it. And this is a medium level mission, so it's, uh, you know, we are going to have some camping opportunities. So, obviously, because it is a medium level mission, I need to save up a little bit of gold so that I can, uh, you know, tend to the provisions that I'll need for the excursion. And I need to take a party with me that can handle both healing and stress healing that's the t those are the two criteria that i you know force myself into for now um so i'll get into those two characters that i'll be taking in a bit i'm going to take um even though she does get extra stress damage in the ruins i think i'm going to go with her uh fiennes fiennes i think is how you pronounce it i'm not sure but in any case i'm going to take her um and then my second guy i'm going to take hamaj um, he also gets, he's also a ruins phobe, so he gets 20% extra stress damage for being in the ruins, but I want to have two tanky units up front, and, uh, you know, I don't want to take him because he's a manic for money, and I kind of want to take as much as I possibly can, um, out of these missions with, uh, you know, finding, sir, finding loot and so forth, so I don't mind the stress damage as long as, uh, I have my buddy Marillac here. Um, who can do the stress heals on them, so I'll put him in there, and then, uh... Tornabut. <laughs> Torn Tornabut. Tornabut? Um, she's a ruins tactician, so she gets 15% damage in the ruins, but she's also gonna be our healer. Um, so she'll give, uh, you know, some, some extra damage with judgment. Um, as for her negative quirk, she can't gamble, so that's not necessarily too bad. Stress damage versus beast. Not really fighting many beasts in the uh, in the ruins, and so I'm not worried about that. And minus five percent damage with melee skills. Well, all of her stuff is ranged attacks, so I really don't have any negative quirks with her. I mean, she just really has uh, you know some 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 good uh, positive quirks to deal with here. So I'm gonna take her out there. Let's see what does he have? Dinner also. Oh yeah. So he's only if my torchlight goes below 26, do I have to worry about him. Other than that, uh, you know, he's a beast slayer, and he gets 5% or plus 5 accuracy to his ranged skills, um, which doesn't really help us that much, because he does a lot of melee, so he's kind of negated regardless. He doesn't have positives or negatives. Uh, he's a ruins phobe, like I said, and so is she. Um, but I'm going to equip them with some, some more trinkets. Let's see what we can give you. What can we give you, sir? Um, damage versus beast. We don't need that. Scouting chance. Heal skills, damage versus human. Um, that might help. Minus two dodge, but you are a tanky unit, so I'll take that. And then, um, plus... Let's see, what do we want here? We'll give you some max HP, 10%. So, your speed got reduced by one, but you got some extra HP. Uh, and then we'll leave the, uh, the items that we have on you with the 13% protection and the increased stress damage um, of 20% but uh, you also get the bleed skill chance plus 20% and we'll leave you with the uh, stress with the heal skills 30% and the stun skill chance so overall I, I can't say I'm necessarily uh, overjoyed with the selection of trinkets that I have but uh, you know they will do the job hopefully and we are on a medium level mission that's an apprentice level, you know, it's apprentice level one, and these guys are all, you know, either level one or two, you know, Tornabud is, uh, uh, is level two, Marilex one, uh, I think my jet, or my, yeah, my, my leper is a level one, and then my hellion is level two, so, uh, you know, we should be okay, I'm not really gonna think too much into it, but, 
Again, once these guys do hit level 3, they can't partake in any level 1 missions. They can only partake in, uh, you know, medium level veteran missions, uh, or, yeah, so veteran missions and above, so veteran or champion. Um, they can't do the apprentice because then they will give you that trigger that says, like, I'm too skillful for this, or something like that. So, you know, they, they just, you know, they want to stick to the, the stuff that's at their level. So... Let's go into the ruins yet again. I know I feel like we've done a lot of gameplay in the ruins, but really you have to understand this is all set up so that we can get to the harder, uh, you know, more difficult missions against bosses and so forth, which I'll obviously do, you know, recordings on and so forth so that you guys could see the, the bosses once we reach them. After we're done with this mission in the ruins, we will be at a boss uh, fight that we can do, which might be the very next mission after this one. So. You know, hold on to your, uh, you know, your drawers there. <laughs> I am, uh, I'm definitely looking to do, go in to do some missions into the Warren or into the ruins and a couple of the other uh, areas around the darkest dungeon, just so that we can get to those boss fights. But as for now, uh, I'll leave it at that. I'll leave that. I'll leave that, and then the rest torches. And we are plumb out of money yet again. So, at least we get some decent rewards from this one. We get 4,500 gold in, in addition to the stuff that we're going to be uh, picking up along the way. But I feel pretty confident with this party. Uh, we do get one camp. And uh, I took all the food that I possibly can. So I can use eight food from there. And then still have four different food triggers or, or hunger triggers that will that can happen during the course of this dungeon and still be okay. So let's head back into the ruins and finally get ourselves to the boss fight by completing it. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? So this is kind of an awkward map. Um, you know, we're really split down the middle here. But what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and go, uh, you know, to the left first. Do the box and go all the way down and then make my way back up and camp in this room that we're starting in right now. So And then go back the other way and finish off the rest of the mission. So hopefully we can make it that far before we have to camp. Um, but I guess we'll, we'll see. Nice dodge. Um, I don't need that just yet. If I put a torch on there, then it'll put my, uh, my radiant light to a hundred. So I think I'll wait until I come back this way and I'll, I could maybe use a torch on it. Even though I'm planning to camp in, the, in our starting room anyway, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll just see how that pans out. Go into there, light dims, so I'm gonna pop a torch. And no one in the first room. Not necessarily a bad thing. And I'm going to use, let's see, the leper. You can, uh, you can check out the books. A map! Nice! That's what I, that's what I like to see. Let's see what lies ahead. So we do have a room battle. Oh, nice. Are we going to get the whole thing? We sure are. Beautiful. So I, I know exactly what is coming our way. There is nothing in this hall except a trap. Mechanical crap. hazards possessed by evil intent. So she got damaged, and uh, we lost some, or she she gained some stress off that. Go into the next corridor, pop another torch, and I can use a holy water here. Very nice. We got a trinket. Minus twenty percent chance the party is surprised, and then the rest of it: five hundred gold, five hundred gold, and two fifty. So twelve. 50 in gold. Very nice. Just by clearing out away those ashes. And here comes another map. Jeez, how many maps are they going to give me? I already got one. They always do that. I don't understand why. But before we go into this room, we're going to pop a torch. Get ourselves to 85. And first fight. Surprised, which is fantastic. Um, we are going to want to take out the Bone Courtier and the uh, Cultist Acolyte because they are the stress inducing guys, and these guys take extra damage in the uh, in the ruins. So let's see what we want to do here first. I do want to do Slice Off or Harvest, but that's only going to affect him. Um, obviously, I can't bleed the bone courtier, so I'm just going to do a slice off on him. His attacks aren't really going to help us with uh, relieving ourselves of the stress attacks from them. 
but hopefully we can at least get him damaged. Do an Iron Swan, maybe take her. You know, there's a, there is a chance that I could take her out. No, I only did minimal damage. Not good. Um, so she gets 15% damage bonus in the ruins, which I will try to. Oh man, it's a risky move, but I'm gonna go for it. Nice, got the kill. Broken. Maintain the offensive. Beautiful. Um, let's see. Intimidate reduces their attack by 20% or damage by 20% and 5 accuracy if it lands. So it does 3 to 5 and 2 to 4, which isn't that great, but a chop does 8 to 16 or 10 to 20, which is nice. Um, I would like to take out. I'll try and take out you. Nice! Beautiful. That's two of them. And that's a big stress attack. Oh man, I don't like that. Dodge, nice, very nice. But let us reduce our stress a little bit. There you go. Feeling a lot better already, aren't you? And then we'll do a dazzling light on you. Hopefully stun you. Nice. And we get the torch light. Do the chop, get you out of the way. As the fiend Beautiful, falls, this is working out. Faint hope blossoms. Now the only thing I can do and to attack him is the middle one, which is if it bleeds, and he has a 200% bleed resistance because he's made of bones. So I'm just gonna have to do hope that this kills him. Six to eleven damage if it hits, and nice, we got the kill. The enemy crumbles. So we got another health stone, some deeds, and some gold, which I will definitely take. Um, actually, I don't really want the health stone at all. <laughs> um, I don't need it. I have a health stone, and it's not that great of a trinket. I mean, I can sell it for money, but we're kind of in dire straits here. We need some more deeds and some other stuff, but take the contents of that. Ah, you're killing me with all this stuff. What is this? Um, what do I want to do here? I just leave the cr yeah, we have a lot of crests, so I'm okay with that. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm gonna have to come to terms with it. It's totally fine. Ugh. You, Jester, hunt eighty percent trap disarm percentage. Nice. Reduce some more of that stress. That's what I like to see. Keep that stress low. There's no reason to stress. I'm with you guys. And I could use this second good thing I kept the holy water. Wow, that's great. A thousand gold and five hundred gold. So we got fifteen hundred gold just from that pickup right there. That is that's what I like to see. Let's, let's get rich here, ladies and gentlemen. And I have an extra spot now. Um Do I go this way? Just to check out whatever that is. Yeah, why not? I have faith in my party. We got this. And it's not that tough of a fight anyway. And that is our, uh, our, our prompt right there. So we can we have the chance of getting a positive attribute from it. Obviously, you don't want to put a, uh, a torch on it because that'll just, you know, increase our stress dramatically. So we're going to do some stress heals since this is a pretty easy fight on our stealth first. 10 stress reduction, very nice. And then I will wicked hack you, so you're done. And then if the, he goes first before he does, I'll get the kill. Actually, I'll stun you. Very nice, get the torch light. And he's stunned, which is perfect. And then uh, this heals and gives me a lot of resistance to things, but I'm going, ooh. Stress heal plus nine, very nice, I like that. No, I'm gonna do chop. Good night. Well done. Remind yourself um, that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Who needs more positive quirks? Just a chance of it. Okay. Well, nothing gained, nothing lost. I can live with that. I have to go all the way to the end of this hallway here. Just because of the fact that I don't want to pick up more stress damage from going backwards. Um, we still have a lot of torches, so I don't mind popping a popping a couple before we camp. So what do we have? Okay, we have a fight, and then we are home free. 
Of course the, the, the light dims as we go into battle. Um, you have 23 stress. There you go. Now you're good. 13. You'll be alright. Let's do dazzling light. So that gets our light back above the, uh, the mini or the, you know, the top tier, I guess you could say. Nice stun. There you go. Do a chop. Oh, crit. That's beautiful. Yeah, heal up some of that stress on the other characters. This is nice. And then a wicked hack should do the job. There you go. These dungeons are pretty easy right now just because of the fact that I have a couple of level 2 characters. Brought low and driven into the mud. Nice. Get some more gold. Um, yeah, I'll go into the next room. Might as well. I'm not going to use that. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. We're going to camp in here. Pop, get that torch light back up, back up to 100. 53 is the light right now. And with the camp, that will bring us to 100. A moment of respite. There you go. A chance to steal oneself against Don't the coming horrors. Don't say I never gave you anything. Four combats, I'll do that. And I'll do that. Um, both of those again, that sharpened spear, 8% crit for four combats, and then battle trance, plus 10 accuracy and plus 20 damage in if in position one, which is where we are going to keep her. Okay, and then what do we want to do? Um No, I don't want to do that. Uh, we could do this, Bloody Shroud, which gives me bleed resistance, blight, move, and debuff resistance for four combats. I think I'll do that. And then one companion, plus ten accuracy and plus ten dodge for four combats. I'm definitely going to use that. That can only be used on a companion, so I can't use it. Oh, wait, yeah, so it can be used on the Jester, which I would definitely like to do. So there we go. We're all set. No Enrages. surprise, nice. May we find victory. Excellent. So now we have a couple, three slots open now. Um, for, for attaining valuables. Use a key there, pick up some more deeds, very nice. And a fight. And they are surprised, perfect. Wait, one of you guys was the, uh, uh, what's it called? Humans guy that can, does extra damage against humans, right? I think. Nope, I'm making shit up now. <laughs> That's how you know it's probably late here. No comment about that, but I'm gonna do a, uh, actually I'm gonna do Harvest because they both only have a 20% bleed resistance. Yes, that's what I like to see. Um, and then I'll do Dazzling Light on you. Nice with the stun. It's beautiful. Uh, the Wicked Hack I'll do on you. Nice! Got the kill from it! Man, she's a beast. And then the chop on you. I can get the kill. It's like a oh, nearly a little over a 50% chance to kill him. And we got him. So he's still stunned, which works out beautifully. Because uh, he can't do anything. And he has 3 HP left. We could totally get him out of this one. Um, let's see. I'll get you to zero stress. I might as well. There you go. All's well and good, isn't it? Isn't that just great? What? How do you get to go first? You you just got off of stun resistance. Are you kidding me? Um, yeah, I'll heal everyone up. Might as well. She got the crit. That was bull. I didn't like that, but we got a debuff for two more rounds. So this we got a expedition at least promises success. We got a bandage and uh, some more gold, which is nice. Do we have a room battle here? Nope. We'll go that way, and then to this one, and pick up some more valuables the along night. the way. The promise of safety. I forget what you put on this. I. That. Let's try. Nope. <laughs> um, I don't know. Just clasped shut. Do I try a key? No. Use to unlock strong boxes and doors. What? Well, that kind of is a door. Hmm. I'll try it. Nope. 
Just wasted a key. I'll just touch it. Damn it. Dang it, and you're diseased now? 50% bleed resist? That sucks. Uh, why'd you have to go and touch it? You couldn't just leave the Iron Maiden alone, could you? Because you're too greedy for, for extra valuables to take with you on the quest. Idiot. Oh man, that was... I'm gonna just stay away from the Iron Maidens until I know what I'm supposed to use on them in order to uh, actually get the valuables out of them that I'm looking for. Whoop. There we go. Okay, so we have three more rooms coming up, four more battles to get through. Oh, that's kind of intense. So really, nice. We're all the way down to zero. Nice, got some extra gold. Still have two slots open for, uh, you know, attaining valuables, if you will. Pop a torch as we enter the room. Very nice. No, 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 no. Don't move. Nice, resistance. Oh, God, not the stress. 18. Oh, that's brutal. That extra stress damage that these guys get is not very good. And I get to use a bandage on her, but... Uh. And this attack can only hit the two in the middle, which both have 200% bleed resistance. So I'll do a stress heal, I guess. Ah, oh, man. It's not bad, but it's, you know, I'd rather kill them. There you go. And let's do Iron Swan. Hopefully we can kill her. Nice, that's beautiful. Dazzling light on you. No, no. And then a chop on you, I guess? We'll kill you. Yeah, there you go. Good night. Another stress attack. Oh, I thought you were going to dodge it. Come on, man. I gave you that buff. You got to work with me here. Um, I'll stress heal myself. Let's do Dazzling Light on you, because you haven't attacked yet, have you, you little... You little bastard. There we go. Gotcha! And we will do an If It Bleeds on you. Hopefully, a 50-50 chance to kill you. And we nailed it on the button. So that worked out very well in our favor. And the chop hopefully kills you. Perfect. That, that went way better than I was anticipating. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. <sighs> Normally you need holy water for this. Touch it. Nice. There we go. And he healed himself of all of his stress. He had 10 stress, so that works. I'll definitely take that. Go into the next room. Heirlooms. Yay! Two more busts. That was that's what I'm talking about. We need some. Need some stuff to take back to the hamlet, you know what I mean? Holy water, some gold. Oh, shiitake mushrooms. Okay, so they got surprised, which is nice. Pop a torch first. Let's kill you. Nice, with the crit. That's beautiful. Get some stress reduction. Judgment. That'll kill you with the crit. Oh my gosh, this is insane. And then... uh speed you up a little bit so that you can maybe go before they do? Yeah! Three hits, three kills. We are golden, ladies and gentlemen. Trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. So we're going to the next room. We have nine torches left, so if they give me a decent loadout uh, from, uh, or payout, I should say. <laughs> I got, got, got some other games, namely a couple, stuck in my head right now, so you can only imagine what's going through, going on up there. Um, you know what? I should have put giving you those herbs so that this didn't affect you a while ago, but you haven't really moved out of position one anyway, so I think we're all good. I mean, we, we have minimal stress. Everyone's pretty much healed. Nice! I keep getting these surprises. This is fantastic. Um, Iron Swan, hopefully we could get you out of the way. If it hits, he's dead. And it did! Beautiful. Uh, let's speed you guys up so we get the first attack. Or continue to get the first attacks. Dazzling Light, hopefully to stun you. 
You have a 25% stun resist, and this does 100% base, so 75% chance to do so. Come on, give it to me. Nice, so we don't have to worry about stress. And then the chop, hopefully 50-50 chance to kill you. Nice, that's what I'm talking about. Keep it up, ladies and gentlemen. All that we're going to deal with is a, an attack from this guy. Um, which isn't that bad, but I don't like that at all, actually. Uh, let's hopefully... Yeah, you have a chance to crit. You have good accuracy, good speed. You could do this. Ah, uh, didn't work out. But at least we got the bleed. Yeah, just, yeah, good night. And let's Dazzling Light you. Again, you only have 25% stun resist, so... 75% chance to stun, and it worked. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Do some raw damage to him. He's still on that stun. There we go. And now it is our turn to finish off this round. What do I want to do? Um, speed everyone up. Might as well. Hopefully we could get her to... Uh, actually, I could do Adrenaline Rush. Now, you know what? Just go for the kill. Don't worry about getting fancy now. I'll take that. Momentum. Push on to the task's end. All right, dude, relax. I'm going. Um, I'll give you a couple food, and I'll take the deeds instead of the crests. Um, if that's an urn, I'm gonna need the holy water. I can always come back for this, right? Right. So let's go. Let's go into the next room. Might as well. And let's... You have the most stress, and you have the... Probably the best chance out of any of these guys to uh, disarm it. Very nice. Heal the rest of that stress. And we needed that key. That's beautiful. Actually, I'm gonna wait until after this fight to come back for this stuff. Because then I know what I'll need. Um, I don't need the holy water right now, but... You never know what lies behind this door. Pop that torch. Last battle. Oh boy. The madman, he deals a lot of stress damage. So, he is a human. His 10% bleed resists. So, I could really... You know, I can't do any bleed to him. He's 200%. But to him, the damage can be really real. Especially with that bleed. Let's do an iron swan. Very high percentage chance to kill. Hopefully it doesn't do just 9. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. No! Accusation is a stress attack. Big stress attack at that. 10% stress damage until camp. That's not good. I'm not camping. <laughs> what? How did you... Are you kidding me? Um, I'll... Hopefully stun you. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Spirits are lifted. Yeah, yeah. Clear. Oh, yeah, that's the Bone Soldier, not the, uh, what the, the guy with the club. Would you leave him alone? Stop accusing him of stuff. He's fine. Um, and I'm going to... Yeah, I don't like you. And I feel like you have a lot of speed, so I, I don't want to mess with that. Uh, I'm gonna do stress heals for you because I can't bleed these guys and you know the only attack I have is slice off which only would have you know done raw damage to him but let's uh let's heal you up you know it's just a little bit every bit helps right right intimidate it's a melee attack two to three damage you have two so if it hits it kills you and hopefully it gets the debuff on you which will reduce your damage by 20% and reduce your accuracy by 5. So let's go for it. What? How did that not hit him? It said 2 to 3 on him, and it did 1. I'm calling bull on that. Um, yeah. Let's just... We do? Yeah, we'll get you out of the way. Then again, we can... Uh, Dazzling light. Get that stun going. Stress heal again. This is the last battle anyway, so we could really uh, take our time with it. We don't even have to worry about any of this stuff. Why not? 
Heal him up. Now we just go for the raw damage and the kill. Very nice. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Okay, so now we can get rid of everything we don't need. Four shovels and not one prompt for any kind of uh, obstacle in the way. Man, that was 800 golds that just went out the window. Yeah, 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 thank you. We're gonna go back and collect the rest of our booty. Nice! 2,600 gold from this cabinet and two busts? Oh man, you made my freaking trip, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Who's... You have four stress and 60% chance. I'm not gonna risk it. 60%'s not a... Oh, of course, and he gets it. Damn Mind it. that such missteps are the exception Ugh. and not the rule. Ah, quiet, you jerk. Now let's use up all this food. Can't eat anymore? Ah, we don't need it anyway. We got 350 more gold. I will take that to the bank, ladies and gentlemen. We have a lot of uh, value with our stuff here. We got some crests. Or no, not crests. Busts and deeds. Um, we got a portrait out of it, which I will definitely take. The uh, match is struck. A blazing star is born. Um, the Book of Intuition, which is another decent trinket. Uh, it's uncommon, but all it does is reduce our chance for the party being surprised, but also reduces our speed. But let's complete this. Bones return to rest. Devils remanded to their abyss. Nice, so we got over 13,000 gold for this haul. Last, all positive quirks, plus one of HP, plus one speed of HP below 50%, and mankind hater. Additional damage and reduction in stress damage versus human. Very, very nice. Let me share with you the terrible wonders I have come to know. Nice, and we also unlocked a couple things too. The Nomad Wagon, which allows us to shop for rare stuff. Trinkets and charms, gathered from all the forgotten corners of the earth. And the At survivalists. Home in wild places, she is a stalwart survivor and a strict instructor. So this allows us to change or add uh, any kind of camping skills that we currently have on our heroes to something else. Um, looks like we are pretty good for now. Uh, actually, I'm going to put her in the medical ward, get rid of her hemophilia, 650. And then let's, you know, we haven't taken Reynold out in a while. I'm going to heal his Plutomania so that he's not stealing money from me. We're looking good now. I mean, we got some money, and we got some portraits and busts and deeds. We're in dire need of, of more portraits, though. That seems to be the bane of my existence. But as you can see, it unlocked the first boss, which is the Necromancer Apprentice, which we could do with probably within the next couple videos. Um, Houndmaster, interesting. I'm thinking of doing the Warrens just to... Uh, you know, get us some more portraits and stuff like that. It is a short mission. Yeah. And that, that legendary bracer, that's that's definitely what I'm talking about right there. And we get a decent reward from it. Three busts and four more crests. Actually, you know what we'll do right now, just because we have the uh, some of the resources to do it, is we'll upgrade some other stuff. What should we do? Um... Cost of weapon and armor upgrades by 10%. I will take that. Fan the flames, mold the metal. We are raising an army. Reduce cost of weapons and by another 10%. Okay. A sharper sword, a stronger shield, anything to prolong a soldier's life. And then 
I will upgrade some of your guys' stuff. Let's see. I can't put her because she's in the uh, she's in the medical ward, and so is he. Um, but I can upgrade yours. There's a couple of you. I know I keep spending all my money as I'm making it, but there we go. It's expensive to upgrade you guys. Jeez. Um, and I could probably do one more. But I'm going to play it safe for now and just leave it at that. I can upgrade your... Oh, dang it. You guys make me want to do stuff like this. Mm, well, we're going to... You know what? I'm going to use every ounce of energy in me to resist spending more money. Sort by stress. Yeah, you only have 18. You guys are fine. There's no worries at all around this joint with, with stress. Um, let's upgrade something else. What else can we upgrade? Combat skills? Nope. I can use busts. What uses busts? Sanitarium? Yeah, the... Increase the number of medical ward slots to two. I want to upgrade... Uh, gonna... Positive quirk or treatment costs? What? Why would I want to remove positive traits? Wait, so if I... I feel like if I upgrade this, this will upgrade the treatment ward and the medical ward. Yeah, so I need 20 busts and I can upgrade that and I'll get two slots. But that opens up another one of the medical ward. So I'm, I'm content with that for now. We're, we're still pretty good with our crests. Um, and we can upgrade this again. Increases the size of the roster to 15. Yeah, we're gonna be we're... heroes can be found even here in the mud and rain. Um, let's see. We have uh, we have a, a leper. It's a minus three percent cove tactician and. Warrior of Light. I like that quirk. I could remove these at some point, but t plus 10 damage, 10% damage of the torches above 75. I think I'm going to take you, actually. I was thinking about not. <laughs> this man understands that adversity and existence are one and the same. Well, only flagellate for stress relief. Minus one speed, Eldritch Hater, and Faded. I'm not a fan of you. Sorry, bud. But we get our first, you know, seeker man at arms, Deviant Tasty. He's not allowed to visit the, visit the brothel. I'm not worried about that. But again, 10% damage increase if torch is above 75, and 3% crit to range skills. So we don't have any range skills with the man at arms. Last I checked. Um, but I will take him anyway. The raw strength of youth may be spent, but his eyes hold the secrets of a hundred campaigns. I love the narrations. They're just absolutely incredible. But that's going to do it for this episode of Darkest Dungeon. So we upgraded some stuff. We got our guys through the ruins. Uh, maybe we'll do the Necromancer as our next mission. We'll have to see how that works out. Um, you know, it's a medium level mission, so we will be camping and everything. And I really want to make sure that we're, we're fully prepared. Might do one more mission after or before we go in there so that I can upgrade some of their skills before I send them in to fight the boss. Um... 
but we'll have to see on the next episode but in any case thank you guys for tuning in again if you do want to be one of the character names that i have in the roster now that my roster size is up to 15 um leave it in the comment section below and uh, I will definitely integrate you into the game so that you are one of the characters that I actually take out into the dungeons with me. Um, but in the meantime, thank you guys so much again for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care, guys.